warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Okay, so this is for lesson 6. It will take about 1 hour to learn about chapter 4 which is magnetic field. So look at the learning outcome for chapter 4, 4.1 magnetic field. So first, the first learning outcome is you need to learn about the definition of magnetic field and then identify the magnetic field sources and then the last one is test their magnetic field line for the bar magnet and current carrying conductor and the earth magnetic field so let's we start with the 4.1 magnetic field so define the magnetic field so what is the magnetic field is magnetic field is defined as a region surrounding a magnet or a current conductor carrying current where a magnetic force is sp experienced then identify magnetic force and sketch the magnetic field line so we identify the magnetic field sources first. Okay, the first magnetic force, magnetic field source is a bar magnet. So this is a bar magnet contain uh, north pole and south pole, and that each north and south pole uh, have its own magnetic field field lines. And this we will learn later. And then the second magnetic field source is horseshoe or the other name is U magnet. So this is the U magnet. So U magnet pun uh, also have a north pole and south pole. So they also have a their own magnetic field lines. And then the third source is two bar magnet, which is unlike pole. So where unlike pole, so it will be attractive, attractive force. So between this, the first pole is north and south, and then this, the second pole is also north and south. So, north and south pole is attractive pole. And then, the fourth magnetic field source is two bar magnet also, but it is light pole. Light pole, which is, the uh, have same pole, uh, is attached side by side. So, it will be, have a repulsive force. So, dekat sini, we have a neutral point where resultant magnetic field is equal to Z, zero. And then the last one is about the mag magnet. So in, uh, at the two bar magnet, which is the simple uh, side by side pole, kat sini, we will have this, your own magnetic field lines. Okay, so this one is for the current carrying conductor. So this one is car conductor. The conductor have a current is flowing through the conductor so it, it also have a their own magnetic field field line so this one we will learn later how to determine the direction of the magnetic field lines or the, the, the direction of the car, current through the conductor okay this is a long straight wire and then this is through the circular coil so the black one is the circular coil and then this circular coil also have the current current is flowing through the coil so when the current current carrying uh flow in the coil so it will experience the magnetic field and then this one is the solenoid and then this is the earth magnetic field okay so next is for 4.2 Magnetic field produced by current carrying conductor. So the first learning outcomes is catch the resultant magnetic field diagram at a point. Second is determine the ratio of B by using right hand rule. C is determine the magnitude of the magnetic field by using. This one, the first formula is B equal to mu not I over 2 pi R. B equal to mu not over 2 pi R is for a long straight. Wire. And then the second one is B equal to mu net over 2R is at the center of a circular coil. And then third one is for the B equal to mu not and I at the center of the solenoid. And then the fourth one is B equal to 1 over 2 mu not and I at the end of the solid solenoid. So to calculate the, mani the, to calculate the magnitude of the magnetic field, we have four formula that you need to memorize. Okay, so what is the magnetic field line? So magnetic field line can be represented by magnetic field line, which is straight line or curve. So it is well the arrows for magnetic field line shows the direction of the field and direction that is the north end of a compass needle needle point. 
So, what is the properties of magnetic field line? Properties of the, of the magnetic field line, the first properties is the direction of magnetic field is tangent to the field line at any point in space. The strength of the, the, strength of the field is proportional to the closeness of the lines. The magnetic field lines can never cross. And the last one is magnetic field lines are continuous, forming closed loop without beginning or end. So, what is mean by uniform magnetic field? So, magnetic field is uh, said to be uniform if it has same magnitude and direction at all points in a given region. Okay, and then a uniform field is represented by parallel lines. Parallel line, which is the number of lines passing perpendicular through the unit area at all cross section in the magnetic field are the same. So, bila dia at the all area, the punya parallel line has the equal number. So, it will be a uniform magnetic field. So, this one. So, this is the unit cross, cross sectional area. So, we will look at, at the cross sectional area. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 lines. And then for the second cross sectional area also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also have 5 lines of the magnetic field. So, this one will be, uh, we will denote it as uniform magnetic field. So, for the example that we can understand about the uniform magnetic field is magnetic field of earth has the same value over the entire area of your college or your room or your home. Uh, magnetic field of the earth for the whole earth semuanya sama can I? what is the non-uniform magnetic field magnetic field is said to be non-uniform if the magnitude or direction of both varies at all 8 points so the non-uniform field is represented by non-parallel lines the number of magnetic field line varies at a different unit cross section so this one Bermaksud, for the first area, we we, we can calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 lines. But, for the second area, 1, 2, 3. We have 3 lines for the second area. So, not the same. So, bila dia punya field line for these two area is uh, different. So, it will denote as non-uniform non magnetic field. So, the example is the magnetic field of a magnet. Bar magnet. So, the direction of magnetic field uh, at a point always tangent to the curved field line at that point. So, this is for the non-uniform magnetic field. So, kita tengok CD, dia not non-uniform because for this area, for inside of the bar magnet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 lines. But for the upper side and the lower side of this bar magnet, it will have different numbers of the field lines across upper, inside and downside of the magnet bar. So it will be known as non-uniform magnetic field. So, and then the second one, for the uniform magnetic field, so, B, B is a uh, magnetic field. This is direction to the right, and then this one is B to the, to the left, and then this is the magnetic field is upward, and then the last one is the magnetic field down, downward. So, this one, we would denote color, uh, if the cross diagram, it is... Magnetic field is into the pitch. But if dot third circle, magnetic field is out of the, the pitch. Okay, so how to the, determine the direction of the magnetic field? We, we can use by using right hand grip rule. So right hand grip rule to determine the direction of B for the current carrying conductor for our thumb is uh, represent for the direction of current. For our fingers is the, determine the direction of the magnetic field B. So thumb rule is magnetic field or the fingers is the direction of cuff. Current, so this is vice versa. Let's say this pen represents our straight wire carrying an electric current, and let's say the current is running this way.
towards the tip of the pen, then we know the magnetic field around it will be in circles. But that can be in two directions. If I use a bangle to represent the magnetic field, then it can either be this way, where on the top the magnetic field is to the right, as you can see by the arrow mark, or it can be this way, where on the top the magnetic field will be towards the left. So how do we remember what direction it's going to be is the question. So a simple rule that we're going to use over here is called the right hand thumb rule. It says that you take your wire and you clasp it with your right hand, not the left hand, right hand such that the thumb represents the direction of the electric current. So over here, notice the electric current is this way. So my thumb has to point in that direction. Then the four encircling fingers will tell us the direction of the magnetic field. So over here, notice the encircling fingers are telling me that the magnetic field on the top is to the right. And so now I know that the magnetic field has to be this way. So that on the top, it's to the right. And if the electric current were to reverse, let's say downwards, electric current was downwards, now I would clasp the same conductor with my right hand this way. Because the thumb should point in the direction of the current, this way. And so now look at the four fingers. The four fingers are telling me that the magnetic field on the top is to the left. Can you see that? It's to the left. And therefore now the magnetic field, magnetic field is going to be this way. Sometimes you have to figure out the direction of the magnetic field at a specific point around a conductor. Alright, so we continue with 4.2, magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor. For the equation for the magnetic field strength for current carrying conductor for the long straight wire is B equal to mu naught I over 2 pi R. So this one, mu naught is referred to permeability of the free space. So this is the constant value, 4 pi times 10 power negative 7. R is the perpendicular distance between the point X and the conductor. So this is the radius. Must be perpendicular. And then the I is referred to the current in the wire in the unit of ampere. And then Bx is the magnetic field strength or flux density at the point. Point X. Unit in test. Tesla. So this is the direction of the current. So you already see how to use the thumbs rule from the previous uh, videos. So if upward so the if upward current, uh, get the direction of the magnetic field will flow in the uh, anti-clockwise direction. So anti-clockwise direction for the left side, the left side region is will be B magnetic field is output out 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 from the piece. So this one will be a uh, dot circle. But for the right side region from the uh, straight, long straight wire so the first one will be cross circle so it will be represented by the magnetic field is into the into the pitch so this one is for the circular coil circular coil so it will be two dot here so this one the left side is uh, the circular dot if you refer to this uh, this diagram the current is outside from the from the from the pitch. So we, when this one is the current is outside of the pitch, they will do dot circle. And then for the right side, this one, the current is flow into the into the pitch. So we, when it's into the pitch, we will uh, draw it is at the cross circle. And then this one some, uh, by using the thumb rule, we will know that the direction of field for left side is anti-clockwise, while for the right side is clockwise. So the equation for the circular coil is B equal to mu naught and I over 2 to R. So the same one, mu naught is the permeability of the free space. B is for the magnetic field at the center of a circular coil. R is the radius of the coil. So radius of the coil, so this one, from the the center of this coil 
and then until for this answer is the radius and then n is the number of turns of the of the coil so this is direction so we will use by using thumb thumb rule so this is your thumb and then your fingers is represent the direction of the magnetic magnetic field okay the one is for the solenoid so solenoid we have the several circle here and then the several turn on the page so okay the tengok kat sini the direction of the current is into the page from the left side and out of the page from the right right side so this one the formula with the for solenoid is b equal to mu naught and i bc is refer for the center center of the solenoid center of the solenoid here and then be is refer to the at the end of the solenoid so here at the end of the solenoid so center of the solenoid and at the end of the solenoid use different for me formula so mu naught and i over 2 is for the at the end and then the small n is refer to the number of turns divided by length of the solenoid Okay, so this is the number of turn per length. So mu is equal to mu r multiplied with mu naught. Mu is referred to the permeability of the of the core. If the solenoid with the if the core. Okay. So next one is for the learning outcome for point three. Forces on a moving charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So the first learning outcome is explain and use the magnetic force, which is F equal to Q B B. B is determine the direction of force. C is de describe the circular motion of a charge in a uniform magnetic field, and D is use relationship of F B equal to F F C. Okay, so let's. Uh, learn about the force on a moving charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So this is the equation of force. So F equal to BQV sine theta. So BQV sine theta also uh, we can write in a vector form which is F equal to QV multiplied with B so that we know that if the vector vector form formula is F equal to QV B sine theta. So F is represent for the magnetic force B is represented for the magnetic phase strength. V is the speed of a charge. Q is the magnitude of charge. And theta is the angle between B and B and B. So, a charge Q moving with a speed V at an angle theta with direction of the uniform magnetic field of radius B experience a magnetic force of, of, of the magnitude. So, this is the definition for this formula. So, if you write, if you read it clearly, so this one is referred to the formula of F equal to B Q V sine theta. So how to determine the direction of force for this uniform magnetic field by using the right hand grip rule. So right hand grip rule, thumb is referred to the direction of force and then uh, and then the fingers is refer to the direction of velocity and then the curve toward the the v so this one all right so i would like to is uh, describe the circular motion of a charge in a uniform magnetic field and then use the relationship between fb equal to f fc so this one if we refer to the first diagram here for the cross section of the magnetic field, so this one we have a charged particle moving in a uniform magnetic field which is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So this one, uh, V is uh, upward and then the magnetic field is into the page. So it will be perpendicular and then so we know that if the charge particle is moving in a circular path so we will learn already in the first semester for the circular motion direction of force mass toward to the center of the circular path so this is your fb the fb is referred to magnet, magnetic force okay so the magnetic force cause the particle to move in a circle so fb is provide the center pattern for so set that's why we relate the magnetic force with the centipetal force because 
this charged particle is moving circular motion in the magnetic field magnetic field uh, region. So FB equal to FC. So we can derive uh, we can derive FB equal to FC. So FB equal to BQB sine theta. And well, for the centripetal force is MV squared over R. So we assume theta equal to 90 because direction of your V and the B magnetic field is uh, perpendicular so that it will be 90 degrees. Sine 90 equal to 1. So we will be BQV equal to MV squared over R. And then uh, we know that the period of the, we know that uh, the velocity of the circular path V equal to 2 pi or R over T. So we need to use T equal to 2 pi R over, over V. So this is the formula. So for BQV equal to MB squared over R. So we will use this for the calculation later. Okay, next is for the magnetic field produced by the current carrying conductor. So explain and use magnetic force F equal to I L B and the de determine the direction of force. Okay, so when a current carrying conductor with length L is placed in a magnetic field B, does a magnetic force F will act on that conductor, which is F equal to B I L sine theta in a vector form of this formula is I bracket L multiply with, with B. So, we know that for vector form here, theta is represent the, the angle between I and, and B. So, length is the uh, constant of this force. So, F is referred to magnetic force, I is for the current, L for the length of the conductor, theta is the angle between current and magnetic field, B is the magnitude of the magnetic flux density. So, we uh, determine the direction of force, magnetic field and current by using right-hand group rule. So, force, the thumb is referred to the direction of force. Uh, the fingers, straight fingers is direction of current. If we curl the fingers inward, will be direction of magnetic, magnetic field. Okay. So this one, for the first example, uh, if the direction of B is toward to the right and direction of the current through the uh, straight wire is toward to the right so the angle between B and I is equal to zero. If we substitute in the formula F equal to B I L sine theta, theta is equal to zero, it is equal to F equal to zero. So no force is in this uh, in this straight wire which is, per, which is parallel with magnetic field. If the magnetic, if the straight wire is perpendicular with the magnetic field, so the theta is with 90 degrees, it into the formula of F equal to BIL sine 90, sine 90 is equal to 1, so your F equal to BIL. So this one will refer to uh, maximum force. So this force is into the, into the pitch. If this, uh, the third diagram, we know that this straight wire is arranged in the angle of 30 degree through the magnetic field. So we substitute the value of 30 degree. So this one will be positive force and then its direction will be into the, into the P. 